Now adding a collapsible product description like this one right here is a pretty easy and fast forward way of improving the overall look of your landing page quite a lot and this can actually also increase the conversion rate. This in general also just in my opinion feels more organized and I'm personally a big advocate for something like this. I use this in basically all of my Shopee, basically all of my Shopify and all of my dropshipping stores as I just think that this is a super nice feature and it looks way nicer than just having a big block of text. Now what is going on here in the backend? This is important to notice. Now when going on Shopify, this is the example store which I've actually built up. Now when we are going to head to our online store and let's actually open up our store right here. Let's click on customize and let's open this in a new tab. Now it is important to understand that we are going to actually have to set up dynamic objects for this. So let me actually explain you this. Now when I'm going to now actually open up the products page right here, as you can see we do have a default product page. Okay, so this is going to be used to running belt, but I'm just going to use this one or let's actually go with the, uh, with the sweater right here as an example. So this is how it is going to look like right now. So let's actually uh, right here, we do want to add the collapsible row, right? Well, we could do that by simply just adding this right here. But when we are going to add this as a normal block inside right here, this is basically going to show up for all of the products. And this is the description for only this sweater right here okay so if we're now going to view the belt for example the same exact collapsible row is also going to show up meaning that we will basically have to find a way of dynamically implementing meta field objects trust me that sounds way harder than it actually is so that we can then actually instantly set the collapsible row content for each of the different products individually right on the product tab so let's actually go through this i'm going to delete this right now i'm going to actually delete the share button as well this is pretty useful useless and i'm actually just for organization purposes i'm going to create a new template i'm going to name this collapsible row because obviously um, sometimes you do want to actually have different looks from product to product and by basically creating this template you are allowing yourself to creating a new look of a product page which you can then assign onto different products so this would be basically how to show different product pages for different products okay you get my point so i'm just going to open up this sweater right here as an example let's now actually add the collapsible row i'm going to add a new block and i'm going to add one collapsible row right here now the content of this is going to highly depend on your own likings but i'm going to first of all delete the description right here and i'm then going to add a second collapsible row i'm going to add that one right here and now we i'm going to add a third one as well and basically the content of this is going to highly depend on what you're looking for in this case this actually says sizing material and shipping and now some uh, some brands like gymshark i think actually also have uh, something like this so let me actually open up something right here um so let's actually just look through this to get some idea on what we could implement right here i usually just go with shipping and this okay so we do have the description as the as well as delivery and returns so let's actually add a first collapse of a row which is going to be shipping now in this case let me quickly think about this in this case as this is going to be shipping this is most likely going to be the same for every product hence why we can just add the row content right here so i'm just going to say i'm going to use the ai feature for this and i'm going to say the shipping usually takes between one to two weeks obviously this is going to depend on your own product um the parcel is going to be um submitted within two days and this is now go going to generate us a text and i'm simply just going to add this onto the product uh, description right here and i'm not going to create a dynamic object for this because obviously the shipping is going to be the same for every product now right now i don't really like the style of this although the text does show up and um, as you can see the shipping icon right here doesn't really look nice so let's actually change the icon inside right here and let's actually change this to a truck so i'm just going to add that right here perfect i personally also don't really like the font so let's actually change that uh, let's head over to settings to the theme settings let's go to typography and let's change the body font to something more yeah something more neat like like the inter font for example i'm going to change the headings as well to enter and I'm going to create but I'm going to select the semi bold option for the heading okay so I think this right away does look way better actually let's change this once again and let's just let's just use the regular one for the headings 
Perfect. So now that we do have this available, we can actually see how this is going to look like in this example. But how do we now actually create meta objects so that we can then individually set stuff like the product description? Well, that's actually pretty easy. Make sure to simply, wait, I'm, I'm going to add the product description right here. I'm going to add the icon. So I'm just going to say question mark. And then I'm going to add a third element, which is, which is going to say care instructions. All right, so we now do have three different collapsible rows. The first one, the shipping one, we don't need to set this up anymore because this is the same for any product. Product description is going to change from product to product as well as the care instructions. However, the product description is already a default element. So we won't really have to set it up in depth, but we will actually have to set up the care instructions. So head over to your Shopify dashboard and then open up the settings right here. Make sure to actually access the custom data. Um, you can find it on the left, custom data. And then as for the meta field definitions, we will have to head over to products and then add a new definition. This is going to be the name. So I'm just going to add care instructions. Perfect, so let's add that. The description, uh, as for the type, we will just have to add a multi-line text. We can then select a category if we want to, but this isn't really needed. As for the validations, this also isn't needed as well. So we can then actually save this. Now, what now happened is that we've actually added a new info, a new data element onto all of our products. So when we are now going to open up a product of ours, let's open up the belt for example, we can see that on the bottom right here under care instructions, a new meta field has been added. And what we are going to, all, when we are going to um, actually put in something right here, let's actually save this. This is a test. And this is then going to be used as a meta field and can be displayed. So this is the care instructions. Perfect. Let's right here actually also add a description. This is the perfect belt for everyday use. Okay. And let's actually um, now head over to um, our, pl our sweater, which we've used beforehand. And let's add um, care instructions. Just, just so that we actually have the data for this to use. Okay, when we are now going to view our store, let's change the preview to the sweater. Now, when we are going to access the care instructions, we will have to link this content onto the right meta field. To do, to do so, just connect the dynamic source using this button. Then simply just use this arrow right here to head out of this and under this right here under the template under product we can then find the care instructions so we will simply just have to align these and when we are now going to show this up this is going to give us the correct output but how do we now actually add the product description well nothing easier than that simply just open up the same exact menu right here and then once again make sure to actually opt out of this this is going to again then give you the option to select template product and right here, you can then view the description by default because this is already a default element. So we can now actually open this up. And as you can see, this is going to be the description. These are going to be the care instructions. And we can then actually also save this. And we can then actually also view the belt, which is also going to give us the shipping, which is going to be the same, the product description and the care instructions. Make sure to now actually, as uh, basically make sure to now actually add the uh, right here, uh, Make sure to now actually head over to products and make sure to add the actual um, template, the theme template right here and select collapsible row. Otherwise, this isn't going to show up. Make sure to actually set the collapsible row theme for every product where you do want to add your collapsible row and make sure to not forget to also add the carry instructions for every product. Now, I really hope that this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to get yourself a Shopify store with the link down below.